going live. All right, hello everyone. I am Robin Shaw and I am back from my vacation. Please let me know that you can hear me and see me. We are live now. I am back in Korea. I don't know if I don't know if being back in Korea is a good thing or a bad thing cuz right now Korea has the coronavirus and it is spreading every day to more and more people. I am not sick. I I don't think I have the coronavirus. I feel very healthy. Uh and uh so everything's okay with me. How are you guys? Let's see. Let's see who's here. And of course, uh Layla's here. Oh, Layla, I missed you too. Uh I, I, I'm sorry to a lot of uh, to Layla and a lot of students. I couldn't talk because uh, a lot of the places I went just did not have good Wi-Fi, uh, and I'm traveling all day, uh, every day. So it's very hard for me to chat or check uh, the internet. So sorry, but I am back now. I can check. Uh, you know, Korea has great Wi-Fi, and I can check the internet every day. So I missed you guys too. Hello, Carrie. Grace. Oh, you're here. Hello, Grace. I hope you're doing well. And Layla asks, or Grace asks, did you get back to Korea? I'm in Korea, in my house, in my studio. And Layla, how was your vacation? My vacation was uh, great. Uh, for those of you who don't know, uh, for one month I traveled to uh, New Zealand and Japan and I, I also visited Fiji and New Caledonia and Vanuatu. So I, all, all my vacation I visited many islands, Japan, New Zealand, Fiji, New Caledonia, Vanuatu. I visited five islands. Uh, so that's where I went for one month, and now I'm back. Billy, hey Billy, how's it going? And Wynn's here, and I see Alvin. Hello, Alvin. Sleepwalker, hello. Uh, I'm, I'm trying to catch up in the comments. Fanny, I've been waiting for your live stream for a long time. Well, I'm back, and uh, I just came back today. I didn't have time to clean up. I, I, as you guys see, I need to get a haircut and uh, look a little better before next week's live stream. And uh, Kara asked, uh, when are you going to upload next Shy English video? I don't know, sometimes next, uh, some maybe this week. Uh, Iskander Matt, greetings from Indonesia. Yes, I've been to Indonesia. I went to Jakarta and Bali. And Tahir Khan, welcome. Nice to see you. Uh, Hamza, hello. And Grace says, what is the best memories in this trip? Uh, of course, New Zealand is a, is a very beautiful place. And in the thumbnail, uh, I'm standing in front of Mount Cook. Mount Cook is a very famous mountain in New Zealand, and it is a beautiful mountain. Uh, it's an amazing place. So my favorite memory uh, is in New Zealand around Mount Cook. And if anyone has a chance to visit New Zealand, I, I know it's very difficult to visit New Zealand because it's far away and it's expensive. Wow, I tell you, every day I got to spend a lot of money, uh, too much money. But Mount Cook was, well, all of New Zealand is very beautiful. And Hamza, Japan, yeah, Japan has coronavirus and Korea has coronavirus. Uh... Japan and Korea are very quiet these days. That means there's not many people on the streets, uh, the airplane, the airport, not many people. 
So I, I try to stay clean. I always wash my hands. I always use hand sanitizer. Uh, I wear a mask when I'm outside. Uh, uh, so coronavirus is very serious, guys. It's, you know, you got to stay clean. Make sure you wash your hands and uh, stay away from uh, a lot of people. Because it is spreading in the world. And Kiramat. Oh, hello. Welcome. Shapur Kataparast. Hello. Uh, I'll try to catch up with the comments, guys. A lot of you guys are writing comments quickly. Uh, how many days have you been to Fiji, Vanuatu, and New Caledonia? About three days each island. Fiji, Vanuatu, New Zealand, uh, New Caledonia, about three days. New Zealand, I was there for about two weeks. And Japan, about six days. I was in uh, Tokyo, three days. And Osaka, about three days. New Zealand, Alvin. Kaui, uh, it's me, Joanne. How was your trip? Uh, we missed you. Okay, thank you. Welcome back. I'm glad to be back. How many days did you stay in New Zealand exactly? I believe two weeks. 14 days in New Zealand. Uh, is Gander, Matt, what do you think of coronavirus? Did you worry on the flight? Uh, I am not worried about coronavirus. Uh, it it has not a, infected a, a lot of people yet. Uh I believe in Korea is about 3,000 people. Half of those people are in another city. Uh, so I am staying clean, but I'm not worried. Uh, I'm cautious. Amina, hello. Grace, how much more expensive there than Korea? Well, Grace, I would say uh, New Zealand and also expensive was New Caledonia. These countries almost double price of Korea. I love Korea. Korea is a uh, cheaper country than Korea. And actually Japan's a cheaper country than New Zealand and New Caledonia. Very expensive. Layla, have you met anyone who follows you on YouTube in Japan or New Zealand? No, I didn't meet any students. Uh, I don't know if I have any Japanese. I don't think I ha I've never talked to. Do I have a Japanese student? And definitely I've never talked to a student from New Zealand. Layla, what is the name of the hotel which you booked a room in New Zealand? Yeah, that question is right. Uh, I stayed, you know, in New Zealand, I had to stay. I stayed in different hotels. Uh, I never slept in the same place twice. Uh, sometimes I had to do a little bit of camping. Uh, so I'm not sleeping in the hotel. And sometimes I had to wash my body and my clothes in the, in the lake. Uh, you know, New Zealand, there, there's not many uh, hotels in the South Island. So it's, it's a lot of camping. If you want to see the uh, parks. Tahir. Oh, I'm also on a trip. Currently, I'm in India and I will go to Chile, Chile next month and go to Canada next month. And I'm studying Canada Medical Factory. Oh, well, that's great to, to hear, Khan. Uh, you're traveling a lot. You get, you're traveling a lot. Uh, from India to Canada. That's a very different countries. Hamza, you get different color on your skin. Yeah. Uh, New Zealand is not hot, but the, the sunlight is very direct. There's no pollution there. So the sunlight hits me and Fiji was hot. New, New Caledonia was hot. So I went to a lot of places and I got a lot of sunlight. So yeah, my skin uh, is a little bit dark. I don't know. This is... You can see the difference. Uh, I hope you can see the difference. This is normal color. And then, then this is my tan. We say I got a tan. Sun tan. 
Alvin, have you been to China? Yeah, I've been to China many times, Alvin. Uh, maybe about six times. Last last year I went to Jingdao. I've been to Beijing, Shanghai, all the major cities in not all the major cities, but a lot of the major cities in China. Where are you from, Alvin? Layla, have you flown by airplane to get Fiji from New Zealand? Yeah. Uh, you would ask, did you fly? Did you fly by air? Did you fly? These are all islands, so of course I uh, had to fly. No boats. So did you fly to Fiji from New Zealand? That would be the question you ask, Layla. So did you fly? Yeah, Alvin, I had to wash in the Glacier Lake. It's ice cold, really, really cold water. So cold. Camp, oh, the it's in New Zealand, it's it's the end of I think it's the end of summer, but still nighttime is very cold. About 10, 15 degrees. Uh, the lake, you know, it was really cold. Camping is not tent camping, it's more car camping. I rented a car, sleeping in my car. Oh, Alvin's in uh, Shanghai. I've been to Shanghai, I think, two times, twice. Abdul Montalib, hello, welcome. All right, I think I, I said all my hellos and whatnot, and I want to know about you guys. Have you been studying English? How's your English progress? Have you been reading, writing, listening, speaking? Tell me. Janaina Cardoso Villanova. Sorry, I, I mispronounced your name. Hey, 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 I'm, I am from Brazil. It's a great pleasure. Your project is amazing. Welcome, Janaina. I'm not sure how to pronounce your name. Welcome, I hope you're studying English. Abdul, sir, I have studied all tenses, but still I cannot speak English fluently. Well, if your target is to speak fluently, uh, you got to be living in an English-speaking country. Uh, if you want to be speaking fluently, you should be speaking English three, four, five hours a day. Uh, so, Abdul, your target of fluent... What's your level now? Is it beginner, intermediate, advanced? Uh, I think a target of advanced is a really good target for most of you. Most of you don't need to be fluent in English unless you're going to live in an English-speaking country. Is there a big difference in time, in the time between Korea and New Zealand? Uh, no, I think it's the same time. No, it's one hour difference. Not much. When did you come back home? I came home a few hours ago, Win. Uh, a few hours ago. Win. This is this is the blueprint for my life. Blueprint is a is a plan. You know, let's let's teach something. So when you're building a building, you're building a house or uh, an apartment building, they, you have to have the construction plan. This is called a blueprint because usually the paper is blue and it has the plan on how to build the building. So 
when you have a blueprint for your life, uh, maybe they're just saying something is the plan of your life. I, I would need a little more information of what where you saw that. Uh, is it an idiom? Uh, no, it's just a kind of expression. All right, Layla studies English. Hamza, you got to <laughs> keep at it. Alvin, keep at it. You know, English studying. Excuse me. I'm here for you guys. You know, you could, you could bring your questions. You talk to me in WhatsApp. Uh, I'll, I'll be checking WhatsApp later. But I'm here for you guys. Uh, now, we have a... We have a contract. You guys study English and I help you. <laughs> Don't just come here to look at me. You got to you got to study guys every day if possible. Abdul is intermediate. Hmm. Uh, how old are you Abdul? Jabbar Brohi. Kamlesh Saini. Hello. Shapur, I live in the north of Iran. Oh. Yeah, Iran, uh, coronavirus is a little bit out of control there, too. Uh, sounds, it sounds a little worse than Korea. Uh, you know, in the newspaper, Korea looks bad, but I think North Iran, uh, it's, it's bad. So, Shapur, uh, stay safe. Wash your hands. Stay away from large crowds. Rashed city. Hmm. Uh, Win, yeah, I have a problem about reading. I can't choose English books. Uh, yeah, I will. I will find some English books for you, Win. Not not now, but in the upcoming. You know, I I gotta get back to work here with the YouTube channel and start planning ways to uh, help you guys. So I'll try to suggest some books in the upcoming future. I'll. I'll I'm going to make a reading list one of these days. Shapur, it's plenty of troubles that we have here. Anyhow, life is life and hope to the bright and peace days for all of the people of the world. Yes, Shapur, uh, life is going to be tough in the world as coronavirus spreads. Uh, it's it's going to be more difficult in Korea. It's going to be more difficult in Iran and everyone else in your country. I I, I think coronavirus is going to spread a little bit more. It's, it's still growing and infecting people. Um, so this this spring might be dark for the world for the world economy. Uh, it's going to affect everyone in the world. Uh, Layla, may I know, did you use a laptop? No, I had no laptop, only my phone. Grace, what do you think? How long does it is it going to take to be advanced in English for me? Oh, I have very good news, Grace. Uh, you are already advanced. Congratulations, Grace. Congratulations, Grace. You are a, a, an advanced student already. Alvin, you look a little tired. Uh, uh, yeah, I'm tired. I'm also in shock because I haven't been doing live streams in a while. And I'm doing a live stream now. It's, it's, it feels very strange. I'm not so exhausted. T today uh, I flew from Osaka to Seoul to Incheon in Korea. The flight was just two hours from Japan to Korea. Leila, may I have some water? May I take some meds? Which one do? You... May I have some water? Well, may I have some water? You want to drink water? May I take some meds, some medication? Which one? 
Uh, those are different sentences. You could say both of those sentences, but they mean different things. One is about water, one is about medicine. And usually we might say, may I, t uh, may I have, may I take my meds or may I have my... The second sentence depends on the situation you're going to use that. Hamza, don't you think to come back to Canada and stay and teach there, why you choose Asia than Canada? Good question, Hamza. Why do I choose Asia? Well, first of all, in Canada, everyone speaks English very well. So they, they don't need many English teachers in Canada. And also, Hamza, I, I teach uh, at the university here in Korea. If I go to Canada, I don't, I don't think I can get a university job uh, in Canada. Uh, it's very competitive there. So I have a pretty good job in Korea. And, uh, and Canada's cold. I don't, like, I don't like cold weather. And Canada's a little bit of exp expensive. And Layla, let's see, let's go through Layla's question. There's one year and a half, I'm older than my sister. One year and a half, I'm older, I'm older than my sister. There's, uh, okay, well, let's fix that up. You want to talk about age difference between you and your sister. How about this? I'm a year and a half older than my sister. And there's a year and a half between us so both both of these could work Alvin I've heard uh, is haircut expensive a haircut is not expensive I need to get a haircut I've heard it in Arnold's speech who's Arnold Syed Hussein, hi. Mohamed Osama, I have a problem in reading. I can't read fast enough to get a good score on IELTS exam. Can you tell me? Oh, can you tell me how to improve my reading skills? Read more. That's that's the only way. The only way to improve your reading skills. Practice reading every day. Every day you got to read. Everyone here should be reading every day. That is the only way to improve your reading skills. And Mahmoud, uh, Osama, I'll call you Osama, Osama. Trust me, you read every day. You're going to learn English quicker. You know, every life is going to be easier. That IELTS exam, if you if you can read every day, that IELTS exam will get easier and easier. China is worst. We must stay at home. Yeah. For coronavirus. China is pretty bad. I would need more information. I will need more information. They mean the same thing, Layla. Both of those sentences mean the same thing. Kamlesh. Fill in the blanks. A man married a woman. A woman married a man. A man was married to a woman. A woman was married to a man. So number one, I'm not sure you don't need to fill in the blank. A man married a woman. Number two, a woman married a man. A man was married to a woman. A woman was married to a man. 
Camlash, that's that's all I can do with that. And when, what's the difference between massive and enormous? Uh, both of these adjectives mean something really, really big. I have a massive headache. I have an enormous headache. Uh, they... I don't know exactly which one is bigger. I would say maybe massive is bigger, but they're just used to emphasize something is really, really big. So for example, I have a massive headache. I have an enormous headache. So what's the difference? Uh, almost nothing. They just mean something really big and you want to emphasize it. When is your uni starting? Is it postponed? Yeah, as you know, Grace, all schools are postponed in Korea. So my school may be starting uh, March 23rd. I go back to university. Layla, if you don't mind, would you let me know when you get there safely? Yeah, that's correct. Hamza, teacher, do you have some video on the channel talking about English business? Uh, I do have some uh, business videos on the Shaw English. Let's see, Shaw English business. There's a link to all my business videos if you're interested. I think there's 19 videos there. I am really sorry about earlier. Could I say I no? I am really sorry. For adjectives, you need I am. I am happy. I am sorry. This bug has vanished. The there disappeared. The there disappeared. Whoa, 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 whoa. The there disappeared in front of the, the, what's the difference between finish? I don't, well, your sentence, your second sentence doesn't mean, doesn't make sense. But what's the difference between vanish and disappear? Uh, they mean the same thing. Uh, we might use them. We might use vanish to explain some cases. We might use dif disappear to use other cases. But a lot of the time, they just mean the same thing. Layla. Okay, you can call me Layla for short. I'm his slave worker. I searched about slave worker by... Slave worker means someone who's working very, very uh, hard. Like a slave. It sucks that I'm the only one who knows I lost my socks last. Sucks. Socks. Very different. Sucks. Socks. Let's put that on the board for everyone. Eh, back to teaching. So, of course, the vowel sound is going to be different, and everyone repeat after me. Uh, sucks. Ah, uh, socks. Uh, sucks. Socks. Sucks. Socks. Janina, you think in the future put in the site intermediate level course or advanced? Uh, Janina, I do my best to make videos and content, but most of the time I'm working alone and YouTube is not my main job. Uh, I do my best, Janina. If you got specific things you want to know, let me know. And I will try to make content for you. 
Win. I'm confused about sore and painful. I've got a sore neck or painful neck. They mean the same thing. So this, this can be an adjective. I have a sore neck. Uh, it could also be a noun. I have a sore on my hand. Okay. So a, this can be an adjective and noun. As an adjective, it means the same as painful. But painful cannot be an, a noun. So I've got a sore neck. I got a painful neck. Motivational podcast of a Arnold, who is an actor. Send a link, Win. Layla, she's afraid she'll mess up on the exam. He makes a terrible mess when he's cooking. Is there any difference between mess and mess up? Uh, yes. In this case, she'll mess up. She'll make a mistake. And mess, this, the first one is more of make a mistake. And the second one, just mess, is dirty area. Make a mess. Make an untidy or dirty area. So mess up, mistake, and mess, untidy area. So, so yes, there's a difference. Hamza, can you please clarify how to use, I used to do something. Is it, for example, you've done something before and now you stopped doing it? Yes, Hamza, I used to, if you're talking about past, I used to play tennis, but I don't now. So I used to, in this case, I used to play tennis. Grace, when you are going to your friend's house, you might say, I'm coming. Why not? I'm going. Uh, I think I think Layla asked this six months ago or, uh, or so. Or maybe you asked this six months ago. Someone asked this. Uh, I'm going. I'm coming. It's just something native speakers say as a response. I'm going. I'm coming. We can say both both ways so it just means the same thing Layla Jack learning to walk he on my dad's back he playing football i saw it in a book but i don't know why didn't they say jack is learning to walk or he learns to walk uh well uh, first of all layla did you write that sentence exactly as you saw it jack learning to walk he on my dad's back he playing football uh because that, that sentence doesn't make sense. Looks like there's some grammar problems. So I need to see the sentence exactly as it is written in the book. If the sentence is written like that, something's wrong with the book. Wait, can I say that I get a... Yeah, I have a sore back. I have a pain in my back. We don't say backbone. The backbone, we would just say, uh, I have a sore back. And I have a pain in my back. So we might, we might use these two expressions. Oh, I have a sore back. Or I have a pain in my back. Grace, nowadays I've just started watching Netflix. Is there, is there any videos? Are there any videos that are good for studying English? Well, I, I haven't been watching Netflix for a month, but uh, what kind of what kind of shows do you like? Uh, just find a show you like and you can watch that in English. 
I don't know what kind of show you like shows you like Grace. Fanny, I'm used to means I'm usually doing that. Yeah. I can adapt. Yeah. So I'm not used to. Yep. 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 Fanny, the answer to your question is yes. I'm not going to go into detail, but you know what I'm talking about. The answer is yes. You can say negative. I'm not used to doing that. Uh, Wayne, what does put out mean here? I put out juice. Maybe there's a table and you put juice on the table. So you put out juice. So if there's a table, you put out plates. We use put out for the table. You put out some salt and pepper. You put out some food. You put out juice. Uh, that's one way we can use put out juice. I'm not sure where you saw that, Wayne. Put out. Our staff and stuff, homophones. Nope. Very different uh, pronunciation. That vowel sound is very different, so this is a, ah, staff, staff, and this is a, uh, stuff, staff, stuff. I know pronunciation is difficult, but these two words do not have the same pronunciation. Staff, stuff. Layla, I'm standing by myself beside the bed. I'm standing alone beside the bed or by myself and alone have the same. Yep, means the same thing. Alvin, what is the difference between sore and pain? They mean the same thing. They're synonyms. They mean the same thing. Grace, before, you're, before you before you leave Travis, you told us you have a new plan on the YouTube. Can we know about the plan? Oh, Grace, give me time to think. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna make I'm gonna make some new videos like you, Grace. Grace inspired me to make some new videos and uh, other things. Uh, I don't want to go into details because I don't know the de uh, details, but I'll figure that out this week. All right. I try to study English. I try studying English. Uh, what is the difference between in both? Uh, in, in this case, uh, you're using the infinitive to study and the gerund studying. Uh, they mean the same thing in this case. Is there any person who helps you to film this video? No one helps me to film videos. Question is correct. Hamza, is this phrasal verb expressed the same meaning? If you want to say corona vi coronavirus spread breakout, uh, yeah. So spread and breakout would mean very similar. The corona virus uh, is, let's use the uh, present continuous because it's happening, is spreading through Asia. Uh, the coronavirus is breaking out in Asia. Hmm. 
Mm, this one seems a little awkward. Well, I think we're going to use breakout more as uh, a past tense. CV coronavirus broke out in Asia. So very similar, but the broke out can mean one event. Boo. Spreading is continuous, but the breakout. Uh, so a good example here, this is a good example in Korea, uh, Iran, and Italy. So I want to kind of emphasize that it really broke out in these countries, Korea, Iran, and Italy. Started to spread. So broke out is kind of more of one event. Spreading is an ongoing event. Hope that helps you, Hamza. Shapur. Sorry, I'll try to catch up with the questions. What's your mindset about people who are learning English? Because everyone would like to talk fluently in English first before anything else. But of course, you see, they, they can't. It is because it is because of the messes. Most of the teachers follow them, and most of the time, to the point, just grammar rules. Yeah, I know you. Yeah, do you think it's enough? Well, Shapur, that's a very difficult question. Uh, as a teach, I'm 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 a realist. Okay, Shapur, and everyone watching, I'm not like a lot of teachers on YouTube. I'm not going to promise you fluency in six months because. There's no such thing. Uh, studying a language, even your own language, is a difficult thing. Uh, most, most people studying English will not be fluent in English unless they live in an English-speaking country. So if, if, if your goal is to be fluent, you must be making a plan right now to go study in an English-speaking country for about four or five years. That will really help you to become fluent. Uh, if you're in your own country now, uh, I would say just advanced is a is a goal. That's all you need. Most of the most most of the people in the world who speak English do not speak it fluently. All right, most. Uh, there's a business English, which is not f not necessarily fluent English, but it's more of an international English. So advanced is more of a, a, a good goal from your own country. Uh, you don't need, most people here, you don't really need to watch Hollywood movies without subtitles. I know you would all love to watch Hollywood movies without subtitles, but... That's you don't need to do that. All right. You you need English to study in another country or for your job. All right. So uh, I tell my student I, as a, I'm a realist, you don't need to be fluent. OK, Sh Shapur, uh, it would be great if you could study English four or five hours a day to become fluent. But uh, most people don't have that time. So let's try to do our best with the time we have and the resources we have. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I, I would love to hear how, how well you speak English now, but unfortunately I cannot hear. I can only talk. Uh, anyway, Shapur, we'll, we'll talk about that more in the future. I got to move on here. I worked on it for weeks. I worked on it. I worked on it. I worked on it for weeks. I worked on it. So Layla, I worked, I'm just going to worry about that. I worked on it. So right here we have a D, we have an O, this is going to be blended together. We have an N, we have an I, this is going to be blended together. This is going to sound like one word, worked on it, worked on it, worked on it, worked on it. 
Sorry. Worked on it. Worked on it. I worked on it for weeks. I worked on it for weeks. I worked on it. I worked on it for weeks. I worked on it for weeks. I worked on it for weeks. He shook his head in confusion. Could you pronounce confusion? Confusion. Confusion. Wilson. There's a name I saw before. Hello, Robin. The best video for learning English, in my opinion, is extra English. It is for free, but how? Make the transcription, and you must analyze every sentence. I learned all my English there. Extra English. Is that a YouTube channel? Let me check it out. I don't know. I can't find extra English. So what do you do? Make the You make the transcription, you analyze every sentence. Uh, that's going to help you, Wilson, but uh, not for speaking, but that's good. Wilson, if you, if you find that that is a good way for you to study, continue doing that as much as you can. I'm very happy when students find a way they like to study. Uh, we and I saw a lot of words of bloody today. A bloody monkey, a bloody waste of time. Well, bloody is a uh, British British slang. So Americans and Canadians don't use bloody. Uh, so bloody is I, th I think it's just kind of an emphasis word. I think it's a little bit bad uh, word just to emphasize. So I, I'm not a British speaker. I don't use it, so I, I didn't really master that word. Let's just check bloody. Yeah, a little bit, excuse me, a little bit, a uh, little bit bad used for emphasis. reading Shapur. Wow, Shapur, you wrote a lot. <laughs> yeah, Shapur, I don't teach uh, parts of a sentence. I don't teach grammar. Uh, I'm not a grammar teacher. I don't believe learning grammar directly is going to help anyone to become fluent or advanced. So my philosophy is more focused on reading. Reading uh, has been proven to help fluency up here. So uh, I really emphasize reading, Shapur. I've been a teacher 20 years, and the students who had a very strict daily reading uh, practice have done very well. They've done very well to go on IELTS tests and TOEFL tests. Wilson, you've watched all of my, almost watched all my videos? Wow, thank you, super fan. An outsider is a strange person, not someone in the group, Leila. Grace, did I inspire you? Grace, you inspire me every day. When I want to know the meaning of awkward squeezing. I'm not sure what awkward squeezing is. Where did you see that, Wayne? That's not a common expression. Yeah, Wilson, I watched I watched Spellbinder. Wilson, I think you mentioned Spellbinder about a year ago, and I watched it. I watched it all. Because of you. Kang Yujin, long time no see. Hello, welcome. Win, how do I practice pronunciation? Well, pronunciation... 
Remember, listening is very important with pronunciation because you have to be able to hear the vowel sounds. Okay, focus on the vowel sounds. When you, you know, when you, when you hear a native speaker talk, try to repeat after them or try speaking more. Uh, I'm starting to get tired, so it's hard, harder and harder for me to think. Let's see. All right, 10 more minutes, and then we'll, I, uh, I'm going to cut off this live stream after one hour. We're at 50 minutes now. I'm going to move on. So when practice pronunciation, that's a difficult question for me to answer quickly. But try to try to learn the IPA vowel sounds. When you when you master the vowel sounds, a lot of the words become easier to say. The CV, the coronavirus problems are going up. What problems? Economic problems? What kind of problems? I want to tell you nowadays I read and listen to audiobooks. You want an S. Audiobooks, I feel that is too helpful. All right, so Layla's asking about this, and I'm going to ask you guys, what's wrong with this sentence? There's something wrong with this sentence. What's wrong with this sentence? I'm going to come back to this, Layla, but I'm asking the other students, this sentence is a little awkward. What's wrong here? Grace is from Korea. Yeah, Grace, when you become a teacher, you know, you know, you know the difficulties of teaching. Let's, Phineas, let's, let's hit it. It could mean let's go. What, what movie? Let's hit it. I mean, it's kind of slang, let's go. It's common. Alvin, uh, Korean is simple, Chinese is hard. Well, Chinese writing is hard, but for spoken language, uh, they're all very complicated. Uh, Alvin, I don't want to say one spoken language is more complicated, but I, I will say that the Chinese writing is definitely more complicated than Korean writing. But all language uh, has grammar rules, slang, idioms. They're very complicated. Yeah, I watched all of Spellbinder, Wilson, upon your recommendation. All right. Kadiria, Hassan, hello. Jolabi, hello. At the morning, I would say in the morning, my close friend said to me something that made me sad. In the morning. In the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening. All right, so let's go back to here. The two... Let's take a look. It is too helpful. So the problem with this is helpful is a very positive word and too is a, a negative word. Uh, too is used to express something bad. So... Uh, It is too cold. Cold is negative, so too we want to emphasize something negative. So it is too helpful 
Uh, we wouldn't use to. We, we should use it is very helpful or so helpful. To, after to, you want to emphasize something negative. So that was the answer to to, Layla. So it's very helpful or so helpful. I'm too cold. All right, Hamza. I just want to ask you about, can I say according to me or in my opinion, what's the difference? Uh, according to, we don't say according to me. According to the dictionary, according to my mom. So according, your what someone said. In my opinion is what you said. So according to him, his opinion, according to me, uh, is a little strange in my opinion so uh, what's the difference well if you want to express someone else's opinion you would say according to him if you want to express your opinion in my opinion you wouldn't say according to me Layla could you give me a ride to the airport would you pick me up to the airport, which one is better to say? Layla, you're a little confused. You're using two, two different expressions. Good question, though. Let's see. Could you give me a ride? to the airport, which is a question. Could you, you used pick up, that's wrong. You gotta use the opposite, which could you drop me off? Uh, that's a question mark. These two sentences mean the same thing. Could, could you give me a ride to the airport? Could you drop me off at the airport? So you're taking someone to the airport. Uh, the opposite, the opposite. Could you, could you give me a ride from the airport, could you pick me up from the airport? That would be the opposite. Very common expressions. Fanny, what does it mean conversation killer? Yeah, Fanny, when, when uh, two people are talking or a group of people are talking, and someone says something stupid or weird and then everyone doesn't know how to respond we call that a conversation killer so maybe you're talking about uh, I don't know I don't have an example but maybe you're talking about uh, uh, you're talking about the baseball game and someone says, oh, my aunt died last night. Well, if someone says my aunt died last night, then you're not talking about baseball anymore. All right. So that, that's that's like a conversation killer. So someone just brings in a topic that makes everyone quiet. There are plenty of fish in the sea. When do native speakers use this expression? Usually when someone breaks up. So, I, for example, I have a girlfriend and I break up with my girlfriend. I'm very, very sad. And then you, you would tell me there's many fish in the sea. Or there are plenty of fish in the sea, which means... Okay, you, you just had a breakup, but there are other girls you can meet and be happy. So when someone just broke up with their boyfriend or girlfriend, 
you can say to them, there are plenty of fish in the sea, which just means there's more people that you could meet. Yeah, Wilson, I watched all of Spellblinder, the two series. I loved it, Wilson. Uh, again, you mentioned that about a year ago, and I I like old SF, and I watched that. Uh, thank you, Wilson. Uh, uh, I downloaded those and, and watched them. I really liked it. All right, I'm going to end up. I'm going to end the live stream soon, so I'm going to quickly go through. Uh, okay, you guys. Eugene, what are you interested in? I just got back from my vacation. Is learning Adobe program hard? Yes. It takes years to get used to. I can teach you a little bit. All right. Thank you, Layla. I tried to answer your questions. Yeah. All right. All right, guys. I'm going to finish up now. Thank you for watching the live stream. Uh, I, starting tomorrow, I'll start planning some new stuff. And uh, I don't know. We'll start to... Uh, I'll start to make more content for you guys to learn English. Thank you for uh, watching and I'll see you again soon. Bye guys.